Hi everyone, it's Brittany and today I will be sharing with you a very long overdue video which is part one of the denture videos. And it's in many parts because making dentures takes a lot of steps, so this is the first step, custom tray. The first thing you want to do is take alternate impressions of that patient's mouth. And alternate is not a good material to have as a final impression because it can distort and so we are only taking the alternate impression just to get a good idea of what the mouth looks like in general. Next, I'm taking a blue pencil and marking the vestibule or the deepest part. And then after that, I am going to take a red pencil. And that red pencil is used to mark a few millimeters shy of that vestibule because that is where the triad tray is going to be placed or the material that makes the custom tray. And the reason why you want it a few millimeters shy is because you don't want the customer tray to go all the way up to the vestibule because then you can't really capture the borders. They say that the borders are the most important part of the denture because that is essentially what is going to be allowing the denture to stay in place in the patient's mouth. Next, we are going to block out the undercuts using wax. And the reason why we block out the undercuts is if we put this triad material on, then if there are undercuts, then we can't remove it from the stone, which really sucks. And I've had that happen and it took a really long time to get it out. So I am using Vaseline and also melting some pink wax and blocking out the undercut. Moving on to the next step, I'm taking the Vaseline again and applying it on top of the stone with the wax. And then I am opening up this triad tray, which kind of reminds me of those craft single cheeses. And they come in these like funny little plastics. And honestly, there's a white color too. And the pink color is usually more for denture bases, but I don't know why I got a pink color. Anyways, I'm placing it on and making sure to make it close to the curvature of the stone model and then i'm using a blade to cut it out to remember to go on top of that red line and then here is what it looks like i also created a handle as well and then i'm placing it in this machine that will light cure it and it just reminds me of a little like microwave but i know it's not a microwave but it's really fun to look at it's like a little carousel. Anyways, it cures for about three minutes and then it's slightly hardened. I can take it out. Then I'm applying some coating on it and then I place it back in the little machine to help it cure again. And there you have it. That is making a custom tray. So the reason why we make custom trays is because we want to create a master impression which is the final impression that we will be using to make the denture base remember like i said alginate impressions don't make they don't capture the mouth as well as using a custom tray and so that's why we need these custom trays that fit better inside the patient's mouth in order to create that last master impression here are the custom trays which I have used to border mold using PVS, light body and heavy body. And I have already poured the yellow stone on it and it's waiting to dry. And these are the master impressions. They do look ugly, but um, I am a dental student after all. Thank you so much for watching this video and hopefully you will see part two. Bye bye.